Hello everyone, I'm Su Jung Hao. Welcome to SOMAX Sessions. Hey guys, welcome back to SOMAX session number two. So in this session, I'm going to continue my introductions to jaw synthetics, especially on what types of jaw synthetic functions we have with the materials and also what are the materials available in the market. So let's look into the functions of jaw synthetics. In terms of jaw synthetics functions, I've split them into six main categories. The first one is separations. So separations is to separate dissimilar materials and to prevent intermixings. So jaw synthetics materials are used in between saw subgrade and fill materials to maintain the effective thickness of the fill on top. And second function is filtration. So filtration means to allow liquid to pass through while retaining soil or retaining fill materials on top. So jaw synthetics materials are used to prevent loss of retained soil or soil piping due to any liquid movements. So the third function of a jaw synthetics is containment. So containment means that to minimize or to prevent migration of fluid, liquid or any water into the ground or to the surrounding. So this function reuses a jaw synthetics with highly impermeable aligners or synthetic membrane or any low permeability soil or materials to contain the fluid. The fourth function is reinforcement. So reinforcement, we can split it into reinforcements of slope and wall to improve shear resistance of soil against any failures or reinforcement for base cores to provide a good confinement for base cores against any lateral movements. So in terms of drainage, which is the fifth function, so drainage is to provide an in-plane flow path for movements of any fluids, include water, liquid, or even gases. So jaw index materials are used here to convey liquid or gas by providing a movement passage within the materials itself. And lastly, the last function is protections. So protections literally means that to act as a cushion to protect the underlying materials from any damage. So normally the jaw syntax material we use here are heavy non-woven jaw textiles to prevent damage against any underlying materials that is installed underneath. What are the types of jaw syntax materials in the market that we commonly see in constructions in a project. So I split them into six main categories. Of course, there are other types of jaw synthetics available that I won't talk in this session. So the first jaw synthetics is jaw textiles. Jaw textiles represents the largest group of jaw synthetics materials in the industry. So they are made of synthetic fibers to form a sheet of textile-like materials, hence the word jaw textiles. So the materials can be categorized into two big categories. You have non-woven jaw textiles on the top picture and woven jaw textile at the bottom picture. So non-woven jaw textiles is made by randomly laying synthetic fibers forming a sheet of porous textile. Whereas woven jaw textiles is made by weaving the synthetic fibers to form a jaw textiles with a uniform pattern. So what are the type of functions with geotextiles? They are used for separations, filtrations, reinforcement, and lastly, of course, as a protection materials. So the second type jaw synthetics is jaw membrane. So jaw membrane is another large jaw synthetics group, which is currently used and widely used in the industry. So they are relatively thin polymeric extruded sheets with very low permeability. So literally they are used as an impervious liner to contain liquid. So they are commonly used in various environmental and hydraulic containment projects such as landfills, reservoirs, mining applications, water ponds or other projects. So jaw membrane serve one important function 
which is containment. The third type of geosynthetic materials is geogrid. So this group of materials is a grid-like materials with a large open aperture in between the ribs, forming what we call geogrids. So geogrid can be produced by either an extrusion, which is drawn and pulled to improve its strength, like the picture at the bottom, or it can be knitted or weaved to form a draw grid like structure, like the picture on the top. Whereas there are third type of materials where the individual ribs are welded at a junction to form the draw grid structure. It is used mainly as a reinforcing materials for road, for wall and slopes, embankments, and etc. So this is to strengthen the structures of a project. So jaw grid serve one and important function, which is reinforcement. The fourth types of jaw synthetics is what we call jaw synthetics clay liner. So jaw synthetic clay liner is essentially a type of composite materials. Why? Because it is a combination of two materials, one being man-made, which is a jaw textiles, Another one is a natural materials, which is bentonite clay. So a jaw synthetic clay liner generally has the natural materials, which is bentonite clay, sandwiched in between two layers of jaw textiles by either needle punching, stitching, or adhesion. So it is commonly used to contain liquid for either environmental or any hydraulics applications, for example, in landfills, in reservoirs, water ponds, or some of the mining applications. Of course, the materials can be used for other types of projects, as long as it serves the functions of containment. The fifth types of materials is what we call a jaw net. So jaw net is another type of materials with large open structures within the product. So they are formed by intersecting parallel sets of polymeric ribs forming a net-like structures, which is why it has the name jaw net. So this material is used as a drainage function to facilitate in-plane liquid flow. So they are commonly seen in landfills, behind a wall or slopes, behind a jaw membrane in a dam applications, or in some mining applications as well. So they serve one important function, which is drainage. Finally, we have jaw composites. So jaw composite is essentially a combination of two or more jaw synthetic materials or any natural occurring materials to form one composite product. For example, before we have the jaw synthetic clay liner with a bentonite clay core and two layers of jaw textiles. So on the left side, we also have a composite drainage net which is a combination of jaw net and two layers of jaw textiles or one layer of jaw textiles. As well, on the bottom, we have a composite jaw synthetic clay liner, which is a combination of bentonite clay core and also a layer of jaw membrane. So these materials, their development are encouraged by the need to find and improve materials with different functions. So it encompasses a wide array of functions in one materials and they are used in all kinds of applications. So in terms of jaw syntax functions, it serves all six kinds of jaw syntax functions I've listed before, depending on what materials we are talking about. And of course, there are other types of jaw synthetic materials that I didn't mention in detail. They are also used in various engineering applications. So they are here, I've listed three, but not limited to only three. For example, jaw cells, which is a type of cellular confinement system formed by welding sheets of polymeric strips. So when expanded, it has a honeycomb-like structure for erosion and reinforcement function. As well, we have jaw forms is formed by creating blocks of expanded polymeric foam. So it is used as lightweight fill materials for numerous applications. And lastly, we have also jaw mat, which is a type of erosion control mat formed by either using polymeric materials or natural materials that are used to strengthen vegetation growth. Of course, there are other 
type of pure synthetic materials that I did not mention in the video. This concludes my introductions to jaw synthetics. So what are the functions of jaw synthetics that you might anticipate? What type of raw materials we use to create the product? As well as what are the jaw synthetics materials that we have in the market? So maybe in the future, look closer to your surrounding and maybe you might find some jaw synthetics materials buried underground. So this ends my sessions. Hopefully I'll see you again in my next sessions. Thank you.